Hello everyone, welcome to another fresh new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add images in your table so that you can create multiple comparison table, product table, or even pricing table with images in your tables. So let's see how to create it in two easy ways. Let's get it started. First, go to WordPress dashboard. Okay. First, I'll show you without any plugin in a native way of WordPress. And then I'll show you with a plugin with more customizations. After seeing this, you can decide which way is suitable for you and which one you like. So let's start. Uh, first, uh, create a new post where we will create our table. You can add your table block by typing slash or clicking on plus. I'm here clicking on plus and searching for table. See here, this is the default table provided by WordPress. So click on here and uh, just add three column and three row create table. So this is your basic table view. From here, you can add an image by clicking here in this icon and clicking on inline image. So when you click inline image, you will get your media library from where you can select an image. So let's select an image like I have all food images to so click on one. And here it is. Here your image is added. When you click on your image, uh, you can select your own width like 200 pixel and then you can select alternative text when your image would not load the text would be shown so click on apply now see here one thing to consider you have no further modification or customization in your image this is uh, very simple now let's try another image um inline image and another food okay select and set your word like 200 that's it Click outside and you can again align into center. So this is the native way of WordPress where you can add your image uh, but with less customization. Now let's try our second way with a plugin called Tableberg. So let's see how it performs. Okay. Uh, I've already installed it. So I'll show you a bit later how to install Tableberg. Uh, first, let's see how it works. Okay. Just clicking on plus here and just search for table work again from here uh, let's add two columns and two row counts create now this is the initial view of the table you can see when i'll click on a single cell every cell is customizable as its own and not just only that you can add, when you click on plus you can add different kinds of blocks from uh, your native blocks like uh, let's select image block image here's the image block click on that and you can upload your image or you can click it from your media library let's select this and now see you'll get your image and you'll get your customization from here you can minimize and maximize it from here you can change the alignment and let's see uh, you can change the spec ratio from the right hand side options panel you can change the resolution see and uh, you can change the height and weight as your own like you can click you can set it like 350 see and you can set the width like 250 now let's go to the styles tab and from here you can add the border of the image see now it is um, now it is black that's why we are not seeing let's change the color uh, like light blue you can set the border and you can change the color of it you can change the border radius and as the same way you can add another image block from here go to media library set another image okay now you can set the width like 350 same as before and height you can change the height like 250 again and okay let's align it center and you can add the border like 16 pixel 
and change the color of it. Give it a radius. So see, this is it. I think you like the way how Tableberg is dealing with the images in table. Let's see how to add Tableberg in your WordPress. So uh, go to your dashboard. Just I'm leaving here from here. Okay, now go to plugin. Click on add new plugin. Okay, search for Tableberg. See here is the first plugin is Tableberg. From here you can install the Tableberg plugin and you can activate it from here. I have already installed so I don't need it to install it again. Um, so that's it. If you think this video is helpful, please share this video and be with us for getting lots of uh, information about WordPress and um, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.